Maybe I'm, maybe by you. Show you guys food tomorrow. I want to know. I got Did you always want to start your business around makeup or did you kept trying different things? I definitely kept trying different things. I had different different businesses. I, I didn't even realize when I was um in 2012, I think Trey was two. Mm -hmm. No, I was three. It was about to be three. It was the beginning of 2012. I um I used to sew clothes. Sew clothes. Sew. So, oh, so, I was, you said so. No, I was just so close. I used to make custom dresses. Trey was my first model. I got right, huh? Hmm? I got right. I can't hear. I got right. Oh, yeah. It was called 23 Ensembles and Designs. 23 what? Un ensembles and Designs. I still got a Facebook page for it. 2012. Mm -hmm. I used to make Mardi Gras outfits, prom dresses. I even um, I even got a job with Joan Mac, and I done their major right uniforms. So what kind of designer? What you used to do today? Um, to go to work. You used to work at. Ooh, I didn't work there. The question. Was well, what was one of your most favorite places to work at? Oceana. What's well, the most biggest thing that happened to you at Oceana? The most biggest thing happened to me? Yeah. Got fired. What was probably the most thing that you was mad at at Oceana? I got fired. Just look. I said mad. Mad at? Yeah, I got fired. What's the best thing that happened to you at Oceana? I got fired. The best thing? Yep. If I would never got fired from Oceana, I would have kept working at Oceana. Did you get fired full time? Six. Mm. Who's your favorite person that ever came to Oceana? Um. Hmm. I'm, I'm not going to say I had a favorite. Huh? I'm not going to say I had a favorite. Was it your good run? No. Yeah, told me you didn't like him. No, see, I ain't like him. Well, like, he was nice the, thing, the thing that you had, thing that you had, uh, the thing that he had made you do, like, he had made you eat off him or something like that? Huh? Like, it, like you had gave him some duck? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and look, the, the duck was my favorite. The duck, that's still my favorite. I dropped something. Why you made you eat? Because it was stuck? No, Trey, that was TV. All that shit was fake. It was? Yes. You thought it was real? Oh, I thought it was real. I dropped my thing in the chicken. I dropped it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Me too. Girl, nothing happened to my finger. These two nails coming off, so I put band-aids on them to make it look like some wrong. Nothing happened to me. I ain't petty. I ain't got no nail glue. Or do I? Yeah. And so I ain't gonna be wrong. You should've I told him that he's slimming down. Don't you ever and now see you know something I don't like that you do. Mm. Well, how you know about this? I'd be like, Mom, cause you play it every time in a cup, and I memorize it. What? These old school music that you be playing. This ain't even old school. It's like I said, old school. Well, in your time, <coughs> it's not old school in my time neither. What did it say? This just nineties R and B. It's not old school though. It's your time, right? It really ain't even 90s now. Think about it. It's just Monica song. Mm. Play it so many times I don't remember it. That's because I was relating to it. It was a relatable song, my boy. Why I never left you? Basically, calling me old. You say you consider old school. Mm -hmm. Yep, supposed to do this. I had my 23rd birthday party. That's supposed to do. My 23rd birthday. That's supposed to do. That's, that's why I twisted my ankle at. Wasn't able to wear heels then. How do y'all wear heels? Easy. Well, how I used to wear heels. That's my DJ show for a CJ. Haha. <laughs> my old school. Oh, what's new school, Trey? If that's old school, what's new school? Like, like rappers or songs? Songs, like R&B. Uh, I can dig it. I don't really listen to R&B. You should. I listen to R&B. You used to listen to R&B. You used to listen to pop music, too. Ooh, when? 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Oh! I don't know what you're talking about. Pop music? You never listen to pop music? No. Never a day in my life. So you want to listen to Bruno Mars? Bruno Mars is not pop music. What it is? It's R&B. Oh! No, sir. Bruno Mars is not no pop. He's definitely a pop artist. He's an R&B artist. He's definitely a pop artist. R&B. Definitely pop. R&B. Definitely pop. You hear me? That boy loved him some Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars had shared your video and everything. That's Cap. You know what's wrong with that? That's I showed you that on Twitter. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You never showed me that. First of all, you know how long ago that was? 2017. That was like four years ago. Yeah, but I showed it to you. You didn't. I posted it on my Twitter and I said, Bruno Mars gonna get your ass whooped. And he shared it. Now, see, I remember that caption. Mm-hmm. It was on Twitter. He just not leaning into R.B., not four years ago. When he was singing that song, that That's was the only song I listened to. Boy, bye. By, by, by Bruno Mars? Only song I listened to. Well, you sure was singing the piss out of him. I thought you was Bruno. I about to change your name. That was heavy one. He R and B now. That song, that Trey song, was pop, and, and and he was definitely pop. He's R and B. He's R and B now, but you don't listen to Bruno, so you wouldn't know. Remember? R and B though. Oh, now it's R and B. 
four years ago, he was definitely pop. 2017, he was definitely pop. The boy still pop. He just started leaning into towards R&B. And he it still ain't all the way there yet. I probably don't listen to one song. But, but big old pop. After that. You probably what? I probably only listen to one more song after that. Probably mm -hmm. about like, uh, what it was called? Mm, you know it. I forgot the song. Either. It was, uh, what it was called? Man? You tell me. I forgot. He definitely pop. Yes, he is. Listen, if y'all don't know y'all genres, just say that. Look, look now, y'all in here got us black folks looking bad. They already said black folks don't know the genres. Y'all in here proving them right. Tell my stomach. Oh no, more not pop. He R B. Stop it. Stop it. Chris Brown pop. Chris Brown is not no pop. See. Got a lot of people looking bad. Chris Brown is R&B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he saw that R&B. He big old pop right now. Listen, pop, where's that? Uh, pop, where's at, at baby? Chris Brown's whole life was R&B. Yeah, in the beginning. Not right now, no. Not right now. Y'all in here got, got our culture looking bad. Beyonce definitely got pop songs. But she definitely made me R&B. Mm -hmm. But Beyonce pop. Motherfuckers feel like if it ain't, if it ain't white, it ain't pop. <laughs> black people feel like if you're white, you're pop. You're black, you're R&B. No ma'am. Well, some white people rap. Some white people R&B. I know. You gotta tell me. Yeah, I listen a little bit of R&B, but I don't know. Name, Maybe okay. Name R&B song you listen to. Did I listen to? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's that song called? You don't even know. I'm trying to think. Mm-hmm, go ahead. Keep thinking. Mm-hmm, go ahead. Over that plant Go ahead, thank my boy. Michael Jackson was big old pop. Hold up, man. Uh, look, boy, boy don't even know Michael. Name a Michael Jackson song. You want me to name it? You better not say beat it. I'm going to beat your ass. Really? Name another one. <laughs> Swing low. 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 Somebody's watching me. I forgot to do this first. I put the primer. I noticed this in my makeup, and I got my makeup done. Oh, she chopped me up. I said, "Oh, well, I need a facial." I want to right here, but I don't need special for. Nope. Huh? I showed it already. And the fuzz be driving. Who is John B? Mm. A white R and B artist. Oh yeah. Why is your mouth? <laughs> I had to blow up over. Mm. Thank you. Would you get a nose job? What y'all need to get your nose a little bit? Mm -hmm. I know all body parts. 
I ain't touching my face. Huh? I ain't never touching my face. Okay. Okay. You know, young boy trying to uh, be R&B, huh? I can see it. I feel like any artist could, could switch any genre. It just, they don't see it. I don't know no rock and roll artist besides ACDC. Who is that? Uh, rock man. Rockman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to get this money in my tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> The tray wrap, put it on it. Yes, he does. He definitely has that habit, and he have eczema, so it makes the sense sound worse. When he when he put his cream on, it go away in two days. Even while he lick his lips, I don't know where he get that habit from, cause. Definitely got all this from listening to my music. Man, my eczema just flared up over the weekend. She almost had made me cry. Went so long with all my eczema flaring. Yes. My shit flared all over me. Back, stomach. Arms, hands. I ain't never had it on my hands. I don't understand why someone will say it's so crazy when you show you yourself. Listen, when you don't and you wear makeup, it definitely should. The thing is, it don't really be a mustache, it just be a, a, a fuzz, and it show it show in your makeup. It be all right here. Like, we women have hair all over them. All right here, hair start growing. All right here. That's why women get facials, they shave all that. Sometimes you got to tap into your... You, um, what's this called right here, Drake? What? Sideburns. Oh. Sometimes you got to tap into your sideburns. I mean, it's long before. Bitches got hair on their face. Yeah, I ain't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's just I used to feel like under my under my um my top lip was dark because my nose. I like my fucking nose so big it got a shadow on my damn lip. I say God he cursed me like this. <laughs> Lord, why me? <laughs> you know, you know what I said that for? Uh. I say. Lord, why me? Cause I got your butt. Who oh, my? I hate it. <laughs> Ma, if I put on one of your wigs and I walk the other way, <laughs> I look like a whole woman. Uh, you you want slimming out? It ain't look like that when you was um when you was slimming. You want slimming out fast? All right. No wrong with the the cheeks. I hate it. <laughs> 
No more little cheek stretch, right? You can always get a butt reduction like mama did. Huh? You can always get a butt reduction like mama did. So you got something down on your butt? I got a reduction. What'd that do? Make it smaller. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you swim it out, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna grow up and you're gonna realize uh, some girls like a little little butt back there. Who's your favorite artist right now? I have a favorite artist. Well, who's the artist that you listen to the most? Rap or? Uh, Don't matter. I know rap is gonna be Kevin, right? Okay. Kevin Meek. Um, I'm gonna like the back of my hand. I listen, um, I've been, I've been listening to Young Blue a lot lately too. He's super talented. Um, and Young Blue are in B, huh? You I think why I get my genres mixed up is because like whenever they be singing, like when I feel like somebody sing, it's R and B. Mm mm. See, that's black people. Not true. Like when you start singing, and you gotta sing your voice, and you rap, you probably a rapper. You sing. They got people that that sing that do country, gospel, pop. It's not just R and B. I hate country music. Not me. You like country music? Mm-hmm. I don't know one song. Name this country. It. I don't know the name, but I don't even know one part about it. Sing it. Baby, lock them doors in time. Damn. I'm busy. I know what song you're talking about. That's why I say you're charging. Yeah, that's good. Go back up and think right there. Everything. And then I had someone hesitate about something about trying to come and I couldn't read it. Mm. I thought I'd do a shoot on. Huh? I thought I'd do a shoot on. They talking about me. Mm. You got me in my right now? Mm-hmm. I was like in my mouth. I hate when my gum right out of flavor. I'll tell you one thing. Um, I stopped chewing. Um, I think that, when uh, I made... The other gum? Oh, that was. What the sugar in there? 30, 32, 31. 31, I stopped chewing. Um, Extra gum? Sugar gum. I started chewing non sugar. This got non sugar in it? Mm mm. This got sugar in it. It's cause, but I stopped but chewing I it as much and I definitely realized the difference over the years. I love this gum right here. This is probably the best gum for your kids, right, Chuck? No, it's not. It's actually the worst gum for kids. Well, for me, it is. My hand sets who say Yamanifu. Oh, uh, this double bubble is the worst gum in the world. But you keep on buying. I'm gonna buy it twice. And you ain't both ain't about to eat all the both of the cottons. Yeah, but the last cotton, all y'all eat it. Two came and man. Kennedy. Kennedy was dogging these guns. I can't lie. Kennedy was dogging these things. I know. That's the reason why I get hard so fast. You can buy more. You get hard so fast. You can buy a lot. Buy more. I think it's pretty smart. I chewed extra. I tried it. Girl, 
that shit up. I need to make I'm taking it off, not you. Who. So it shouldn't be a problem for you. I'm taking it off, hold, not you. What is one thing that you like hate about having a kid? Well, like nothing. No, like like a trait, like. Or oh, a trait? Yeah. Like what's a trait I hate that my children have? Mm -hmm. For me, or from a parent, or just period. Period. I hate that you can't focus, you can't pay attention, you get distracted easily. I hate that trait about you. That tree going that tree gonna affect your childhood and you and you being the dog. Yeah, I see it. I hate that I got that tree too. Me too. We got it on it, so I was the same way in school. Let's name some annoying about us, ready? At the same time. Annoying about us? Yeah. Alright. But about ourselves. Like something that you hate about yourself. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. My clumsiness. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't really hate that about myself. I mean, I feel like that's me. I it's, think it's funny, but I hate it sometimes too. I think it's mine is I'm too defensive. I don't like that by myself. Everything ain't always uh uh an, That's where I get that from. I yeah. almost definitely get that from you. I think I, I get offended too fast. Everything ain't meant to offend me. You know? But I just feel like some things are better left on said too. Alright, so let me ask you this now. Mm -hmm. Whenever I was little and I called you fat, but did, I, did that offend you? Mm. I know I was fat. Well. <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody know I was fat. Did it offend you when I said you're going to be fat? No. Do it offend you when I call you fat now? Yeah. You got some fucking fucking nerve. <laughs> Run around the house calling me fat. <laughs> then you get fat. Now I call you fat. You don't like it. You got to tell it was turned on. No, huh? No. You got to tell it was turned no. on you. Your mama ain't fat no more. <laughs> you got to turn on to be fat. No. <laughs> the reason why I take it to heart is because the way how you said it. You said it in the most hurting way. You and honey. At mm -hmm. that. Yep. I'm trying to make exercise. Honey has your this. fat ass up. <laughs> 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 there you go, right there. <laughs> One day I wasn't born. Honey, she had said, "Say guess what?" And I said, "Huh?" She had said, "She had said, man, my refrigerator's miss you, yeah." <laughs> 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 and I'm like, "Bye, dog." <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, my refrigerator said. Where that fat, where that fat black on that? <laughs> Cause it's funny because I go in the refrigerator. Thank you. And by like 15 minutes later, if they ain't got nothing I want, I go right back to the refrigerator. The thing is, like, you just came back here. Go sit your fat self down somewhere. The thing is, you you don't even be hungry. You just, like you just be big eyed. That's the problem. I can see you was hungry. You you always get fed properly, but God damn, you'd be big eyed. I yes last last night I told you you did not need three pancakes. What I told you? You said I want three pancakes. I said you only need two. You said no, I want three. I definitely need three. I said you only gonna eat two. I gave you two at first, and what happened? You weren't even finished eating your two. Then I gave you the last one. You didn't even eat it. You threw it away. You told me you big eyed. So I be saying. You don't live to eat, Trey. You eat to live. You don't need that much food all the time. You want you to tell you something like that I hate you, that you do? Mm. Whenever I got coming over here and I'm innocent in the story, you most definitely turn the tables on me. You said when you're innocent in the story? Yeah. When I'm innocent, like, like when that happened last time before we all left, you turned the tables on me so bad. Mm-hmm. Cause I didn't know nothing. I didn't know nothing that happened that day, and somehow I still get in trouble. Cause you talking about you talking about what you said when company over? Yeah. Listen, this is something you gotta always understand. Okay? And then next, 
and the next the reason why I don't tell you stuff is that, that that's why. It's because I get in trouble for it. And then Because we, you have to understand to, that this is your house. I know that. Look. Them look, kids don't live here. This Once you understand that, we will not have these problems. When you go to their house, do they let you jump on shit, break shit, go in their mama room, leave stuff out, go in the refrigerator whenever the fuck they want to, take stuff out the pantry whenever they want to, eat what they want, use any... Like, no, you can't go to their house and do none of that. This is your house. It's up to you to tell them, don't go in there. You can't eat that. No, no. It's your job to say no. It's your job. This is your house. When they leave here... This house is your responsibility, not theirs. So it's on you to tell them, do not do that. My mama don't play that. Pick that up. Why are you leaving that down there? Why that's on the couch? Why that's on the floor? You can't eat that. You can't touch that. No, you can't cook on the stove. No, come clean this bathroom. Who pissed on it? It's your job to do that, girl. That's why you get in trouble because it is your responsibility to make sure this house is taken care of. When your friends leave, you still got to live here. Not them. When they break something in this house, you got to see that every day. Not them. You can't go to their house being no damn dead devil, no damn rubber. You can't do that by their house. They're not going to let you. You know what they're going to say? Stop. No. Don't touch that. Don't leave that up. Don't go in the refrigerator. Don't do this. Don't, just so you got to be the same damn way. Say no damn fun house. That's why you get in trouble. You try to come tell me something somebody did. You tell them don't fucking do that. Mm -hmm. Well, that means they don't need to be here then. Simple. If they don't listen to you, they don't need to be a... They're not listening to you at your house, and they don't respect you. So don't invite them over here anymore. It's that simple. Anything else you don't like about me? Did you tell people not to do stuff with you, dude? I'm mother no, wrong. No, this is why. This is one thing. Man. Always remember. Always. One I'm thing right. One thing you got to always remember is I am grown. This what you had told Kim. Kim, you better not be calling nobody to stay in this house. Uh -huh. Two hours later. You always won't eat. You is just fat. Nah, fat. I, don't, I don't say you just fat. I say your fat ass always won't eat. That's different. <laughs> I don't just sit there and torment you and say, look at your fat ass. I don't do that. I say, your fat ass always won't eat. We already, we've been calling you fat your whole life. When you wasn't fat. When you was skinny, skinny bones, we've been calling you fat. Now you feel like it's, it's, it's a bad thing because you really fat now. You got some nerve. You got some nerve. King was calling that girl fat in a tormenting way. He was calling her fat, trying to bully her, trying to make her feel sad. I wasn't calling you fat for that. I was calling you fat because I'm trying to let you know your fat ass. Keep eating everything <laughs> in the damn house. I was sitting there saying, look at you, you fat, nasty, and cheesy. Yeah, like I was precious, mom. I wasn't treating you like that. Who's precious? I'm worried about him. You had to be there for him. Anything else, son? Come on, lay it on me. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they do got some. Whenever, you, whenever you don't know how to stop playing in the pool, I don't know. Huh? Like whenever you be, like when I tell you, my I quit. I quit, alright. Mm. I'll be swimming away. You'll jump on top of me. Yeah, Leo. Mm. And I told you I quit. Mm. But whenever I start drowning, you are wrong. Mm. You done? I tell me I'm wrong. Got some nerve. But when you want to play, everybody got to play. When Trey Nelson want to play, everybody got to play. He don't care. They say, I quit. I don't feel like playing. You don't care about none of that. You never did. You just feel like 
Everything supposed to go your way. I don't know. I don't know what you watching on TV. Stop. Mm. Can I call him here before? Try to drive him here. That she don't, that I don't look for. You can call him when I'm, you can call him when it's from here. I don't remember. <laughs> I still don't see him running on. That's a great question. Ask when he come back. If he run my phone back. I always tell you what I like about him. It's because you don't see it on camera. That means not being that. He just had his little moment where he went to tell me we share what we don't like about each other. As in, I don't like about myself. He don't like about himself. And he shared what he don't like, uh, like about me. Get out. My come out for Um, I'm not sure. Probably not. Probably would. I don't know. I just don't know, to be honest. I should. Too much. I, I wouldn't really be able to enjoy myself, honestly, so probably not. I blocked that one. Remember that one? Block they who? Let's go over there with this Yeah. Listen, it's not my fault that our black people don't like our black. Oh, shit. I feel like I sniffed them. Don't like our black features. Not our fault. I ain't got no problem with my nose. That bitch big. Okay. I'm fine with it, it should matter.
do y'all tell your broke friends about the type of wigs? Oh, which is my name? How do we get here? How do we get here? I would love to know. I'm drinking Sprite. Yes, I've been stopped doing them crazy ass looks. I ain't gonna lie. Well, not crazy, but it wasn't crazy, but I've just been stopped doing them. Are you doing some home renovation? Um, yeah, I've been done with that. You probably don't be rough. Usually people be rough when they when they don't know what they're doing. When you know what you're doing, it's, it's very easy to be light-handed. Should I do a black waterline or a white waterline? I'm going to aggravate bracer at work. That's what I'm going. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking white too. I was thinking right too. I look like the white just do something. Well, why you look good on light skin people? What? What are you talking about here? I gotta stop think, thinking certain things don't look good because of your skin color. I used to use this eyeliner for my lash, um, for my bottom lash, but. We are all out of these liners and I don't have none of those. So I've just been using Blackboard. Y'all 
I know y'all can use the, the lipsticks as eyeliners, lip liners, shadow. You can use it for drawing too. Shade on your setting powder chimney. You talking about the common shade on the mist powder? Like, what's my setting most? A Y N. I think it's A Y N. No, it's R Y N. Let's see. And the Y is selling most. Tell you that. That's the dark shades. Darker shades. Just had oh. I'm using um I use I use A. I use A, huh? Yeah, I use A. Girl, I ain't even I ain't even finish it. No, I'll never forget my moves. I'm I'm not too cold with the wing. That's why I, I, don't, I don't be doing the wing. Hey, I says the way you guys tonight, friend. Y'all pause. Nice little soap. Not too much. This is taking them. Definitely gonna choose some gum. That's the new day. Mm hmm.
just on the first page. This is actually the sample. I see the back different. This is um the my first sample I got. Um, so I don't know if the page is the same, but I'm using this pink. Use a little more. Hey, Sire. Perfect. I'm gonna use rose gold right today. I don't know why it looks so. Trying to spray. I stopped using so much highlighter. I feel like the highlighter be too much. But I'm gonna use a little today. Or should I? I'm gonna use a little because they got this henna glow in it. I mean, this henna bronze in it. I do my nose, my brows, and but I ain't doing it in a while, so I definitely learned how to do my own makeup. The thing is, even when you, even if you go to classes or even if you learn from YouTube, you are gonna learn their techniques and then you gonna do their techniques and then after a while you gonna start doing your own techniques. Like just like if you learn how to do a cut crease the normal way, and you and you figure out it's easy for you to do a different type of way and you come up with a whole different technique for yourself, you taught that to yourself. You're not doing their technique. You're doing your own technique now. You got to learn your face. Everybody's face is not the same. Like we'll go watch YouTube or we'll watch, you know, somebody else and we'll try to learn from them. But it, it, we're just not going to get it. We're going to do it on us and we're not going to like it. Then we're going to be like, well, let me try it this way. Oh, let me try it this way. And then you teach yourself how to do your own makeup. No matter who you watch, who you learn from, who taught you, who this, that, and all that, you you still not. And as years progress, you're going to do your face different every time. Your routine is never going to be the same for years. You're going to always do something new, learn something new, teach yourself something new. It's always going to be different for you. I used to be real drastic with makeup. I dumped it all the way down. I don't do that drastic shit no more. My looks be super, super regular. 
I ain't do buku eyeshadow on my eyes in so long. I think soft looks goes with everything. That was there. Yeah, it's cool to mix foundation. Give me drag. Ooh, I'm about to know what drag look like. I'm about to know what drag look like, niece. She managed. She looks all green. I love the Cupid's bow. Listen, that Cupid's bow highlight is so pretty. It looks so pretty on your filters. It looks so pretty in your pictures. It's just so pretty. So pretty. I don't know why I like it so much. I used to highlight it right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. So I used to put highlighter everywhere. Everywhere that was naturally highlighted, I put highlighter. Not anymore. Especially when I was putting highlighter. Bitch, why was I putting highlighter right here? That was dumb. <laughs> why was I putting highlighter right there? It, it, it just ain't making no sense. No sense at all. You hear me looking like a big old penny. Looking crazy. It made no sense. I need my moles, my track glue. Uh -huh. I still know I need my moves. My knee is 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 fucked up. Still.
Definitely doing a new lip. Might do a little hidden pink. And I'm going to smoke hookah so I don't want to keep reapplying my lip. So, Hell City and Gumbo. My favorite. Try glue, baby. Listen. You do that mold with them track glue, they don't, they don't go nowhere. Let me some gumbo. I'm put out my blending brush. My pink lip. Oh my God, that's no, I got it. What's what's my own? this pink scale you know people that just get the makeup they see this pink oh it's too it's too it's too it's too it's perfect it's all in how you blend it It's all in how you blend it. I'll be scared of Hell City. Hell City is the perfect new paint. It's giving bubble gum. Oh, it's giving. It's giving double bubble. All in how you blend it, baby. Don't be scared of this pink. Don't be scared of the hell city pink. I know y'all be trying to go for the little real neutral, neutral colors, you know, like Marie. Y'all be like, oh, I need Marie because it's real neutral. So y'all go for the Marie. But see that henna pink? May look dark, may look like it's too much, but once you blend it, it's pretty. It's real pretty. It don't even look like this, cause you gotta blend it. Nieces, it's all in the blend. See how you said? See, I know, I know a lot of girls that were scared of Hell City, especially my deep brown girls. Hell, Hell City is too, it's too pink. It's, it's, it's too dark. I don't, I don't want the dark. It's just dark. I, I, I can't do the dark pink. I, I don't want to look that. I don't think I'm too dark for that dark pink. No need. You got to blend it. You got to blend it. Got to blend it, niece. Pair with that brown lip. That's all. I'm going to city. Perfect nude pink. It's a little henna pink. Like the cheeks. Hint. I'm trying to see why it looks so. Hey, friend. Little henna pink. I don't know why I just. <laughs> just 
a little hint. See, it, it looks so dark right here. Once you blend it with that brown, it's perfect. It's perfect once you blend it. Gumbo, that's all you need. I gotta go. I gotta find a wig I'm putting on. Shy. No wig I'm putting on. I never know what wig I'm putting on. Gumbo is the brown. The brown is gumbo. Brown is gumbo. I also use gumbo with my lip glosses. And how still is is the pink. Just a hint. Just a, just a little hint. They both match. You can go smoke your hookahs. You can go smoke your hookahs. It's not going to move, baby. It's not going to move. Smoke your hookahs. It's not going to move. Don't be scared. They will smoke your hookahs. Go put your mouth on it. You even suck a little dick with this man. Let's go. Hear me? You can go ahead on. Get your little deep throat in. This, but this lipstick not going to move, niece. Go we'll test it out. Go we'll put this. Go we'll put some crayon case lipstick on, matic, and go we'll suck a little dick. Go we'll suck a little dick. You ain't gonna have no no lipstick particles on that dick. Uh, it's it's gonna, it's gonna stay right on right on your lips. Wait, right? but it's supposed to stay in. Go we'll suck a little dick. I'm telling you, it's not gonna move, niece. I'll be right there. Try it out. Go we'll suck a little dick for me.